Hi everyone, our subject today is hirsutism and hypertrichosis in pediatrics. Basics. The human body is covered by 5 million hair follicles. The only area free of hair are lips, palm, and sole. There are three main types of human hair which are present at different time and at different location in the human life cycle. Lango, villus, and terminal hair types. Lango hair sheds during fetal lives and is followed postnatally by villus hair. Villus hair, fine, short, and usually lightly pigmented or non-pigmented, is uh, normally seen over the face and uh, arms of children. Terminal hair, thicker, longer, and pigmented, is normally found on the scalp, eyebrow, and eyelash uh, from the time of birth. Hirsutism implies an excessive growth of body hair in women and children in an adult male pattern. It is often due to androgen excess. Hirsutism is an increased density of terminal hair and must be differentiated from hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis is an increase in villous hair and is often associated with the drugs, malignancy, and anorexia. Hirsutism must also be distinguished from virilization, masculinization, which includes finding of increased muscle mass, voice changes, and clitoral enlargement in girls. Sexual hair grows in response to sex steroid. It grows on the face, lower abdomen, anterior thighs, chest, breast, pubic area, and axilla. Androgen, especially testosterone, stimulate growth of sexual hair, whereas estrogen have an opposite effect. Other hormones, thyroxine, prolactin, also affect hair growth. History Increased androgen production usually causes hirsutism, acne, and increased oiliness of the skin. In uh, extreme cases, it causes virilization or muscularization with a male baldness pattern, clitoromegaly, deepening voice, increased muscle mass, and male body habitus. The age and uh, rapidity of onset may indicate etiology of the hirsutism. Rapid onset of virilization may indicate a tumor. Early onset of hirsutism is often seen with the congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Aminoria or galactoria may indicate hyperprolactinemia. A history of CNS problems such as head trauma or encephalitis should be sought. Medication may at times be responsible and should be reviewed. A family history of hirsutism, polycystic ovarian syndrome, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, diabetes, hyperinsulinism, and infertility should be obtained. Examination Careful examination should include the degree of virilization and a search for uh, thyromegaly, abdominal or pelvic masses, and skin changes, acanthosis nigricans, or any chronic skin irritation such as from uh, a cast. Features of polycystic ovarian syndrome include hirsutism, obesity, and oligomenorrhea. Presence of citrae and buffalo hum may indicate cushion syndrome. Puberty, tenor stage pubic hair, female breast tenor staging, areola hair, clitoromegaly, vaginal mucosa, estrogenization, males, testicular volume, phallic enlargement. How to approach the child with hirsutism after performing history and physical examination? If the etiology evident from history and physical examination, like ethnicity, family history, medications, drugs, pregnancy, severe underweight, low body mass index, feature of cushion syndrome, no evidence of virilization. If it is no, will uh, be discussed soon. If it is yes, if there is uh, underweight low body mass index, this is anorexia nervosa or malnutrition. Uh, 
uh, also a patient need uh, to consider uh, dihydroepiandrosterone, a free and total testosterone, 17 hydroxy progesterone. Uh, if there is moon faces, buffalo ham, tranquil obesity, citrae, patient need late night salivary cortisol, 24 hour urine free cortisol, late evening plasma cortisol, this is cushion syndrome. If there is pregnancy, pelvic imaging, ultrasound, MRI, differential diagnosis, leotoma, theca lutein cyst, uh, iatrogenic uh, progestin androgen administration. If there is uh, medications, drug, environmental factor, CNS injury, differential diagnosis, drug in, uh, induced, uh, anabolic agent, phenytoin, disoxide, danazole, corticosteroid, minoxidil, phenothiazine, penicillinamine, acetazolamide, valproate, cyclosporine, CNS disorder, mental or motor retardation, chronic skin irritation, hyperemia, radiation. If there is a stigmata of congenital syndrome like Hurler syndrome, Edward syndrome, trisomy 18, Cornelia Delange syndrome, and juvenile hypothyroidism. If there is uh, ethnicity, family history of hirsutism, normal ovulatory cycle, this is idiopathic hirsutism. If it is abnormal lab test or uh, the evidence not uh, be found in the history, Consider uh, dihydroepiandrosterone, a free and total uh, testosterone, and 17 hydroxyprogesterone. If the dehias normal, less than uh, 350, or uh, moderately elevated or slightly elevated free testosterone, less than 200, differential diagnosis, polycystic ovarian syndrome, hair AN syndrome, hyperprolactinemia, juvenile hypothyroidism. If the dehias more than 700, testosterone more than 200, patient need pelvic imaging, ultrasound, CT, MRI, differential diagnosis, androgen secreting tumor, ovarian tumor, sertoli lighting cell, uh, granulosa theca cell, helios cell, and uh, adrenal tumor, adenoma, carcinoma. If there is elevation in 17 hydroxyprogesterone with or without elevation in dehias with or without elevation of testosterone, differential diagnosis, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, like 21 hydroxylase deficiency, 11 hydroxylase deficiency, 3 beta hydroxysteroid deficiency, 17 beta hydroxylase deficiency, or adrenal neoplasm, adenoma, cortical carcinoma, if there is a normal value with or without family history, ethnicity of hirsutism, normal ovulatory cycle, as we mentioned, if it is uh, present, this is idiopathic hirsutism. If it is not uh, present, uh, patient need karyotypes and ultrasound, differential diagnosis, disorder of sex development, DSD, 45X, 46XY gonadal dysgenesis, and defect in androgen action. Causes of hypertrichosis, either congenital genetic disorder like uh, congenital hypertrichosis, leonogenosis, universal congenital hypertrichosis, Ambras syndrome, mucopolysaccharidosis, Corinia Delange syndrome, trisomy 18, fetal hydantoin syndrome, fetal alcohol syndrome, systemic illness like anorexia nervosa, hypothyroidism, malnutrition, malignancy, medication, steroid, disoxide, phenytoin, cyclosporine, cetreptomycin, and minoxidil. Red flag. Signs of uh, adrenarche, pubic hair, axillary hair, and or other prior to age 8 in girls and 9 in boys. Signs of viralization, clitoromegaly, masculine body habitus in girls at any age. Signs of viralization, penile enlargement, deepening of voice in boys prior to the age 9 or rapid viralization at any age. 
Science of puberty in girls, breast development, menarche prior to the age eight. Signs of uh, puberty in boys, testicular enlargement prior to age nine years. Symptoms of polycystic ovarian syndrome, hirsutism, menstrual irregularities in girls, metabolic syndrome, obesity, hypertension, insulin resistant or type two diabetes mellitus, dyslipidemia. Indication of admission, hypertension secondary to suspected mineralocorticoid excess, congenital adrenal light tumor, CAH, uh, 11 hydroxylase deficiency, central nervous system, CNS symptom, headache, visual changes secondary to CNS lesion, severe abdominal and or pelvic pain secondary to suspected mass, marked hyperglycemia required insulin treatment. Idiopathic or familial hirsutism is seen in certain geographic area, ethnic group, or families. It is probably due to increased sensitivity of the skin's hair apparatus to normal level of androgen, increased conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, or an excess of hair follicle. These women ovulate regularly and have normal menses and normal androgen level. Virilization during pregnancy may indicate leotoma, which is an exaggerated response of ovarian stroma to chorionic uh, gonadotropin. This regress uh, postpartum. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is the most common cause of hirsutism in adolescent. This is a suspect, uh, spectrum of clinical diseases that is ill-defined, especially in adolescent. Features include persistent and ovulation, irregular menstrual cycle, hirsutism, and obesity. On ultrasound evaluation, the ovaries may appear normal or have a number of a small cysts, 25%. There is an increased sensitivity to gonadotropin releasing hormones, resulting in an increase in LH level and LH FSH ratio. The elevated LH cause an increase in ovarian androgen production and a decrease in sex hormone binding globulin, resulting in an overall increase in free androgen, including testosterone and dihydroepiandrosterone sulfate. And if uh, an ovulation or galactoria are present, consider a prolactin level and thyroid function test to exclude hyperprolactinemia and hypothyroidism. Hyperandrogenism is often associated with insulin resistant and acanthosis nigricans, otherwise known as hair AN syndrome. The mechanism of this syndrome is unknown. However, there is a defect in membrane insulin receptor. Testing for hyperinsulinemia is therefore indicated in women with persistent anovulation, android obesity, and acanthosis nigricans. Elevation of the uh, hias above 700 suggesting adrenal tumor, testosterone level over 200, ovarian tumor, or history of rapid onset of virilizing symptom warrant imaging for adrenal or ovarian tumors. Late onset adrenal hyperplasia is screened for by an early morning 17 hydroxyprogesterone level. Levels below 200 are normal, level above 800 are diagnostic of 21 hydroxylase deficiency, which is the most common cause of congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Dehias and testosterone level are also increased. Level over 200 require corticotropin testing for 3 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. If there is a history of ambiguous genitalia, consider karyotype testing to identify incomplete androgen insensitivity 
and mixed gonadal dysgenesis. Females with the 45X, 46XY mixed gonadal dysgenesis with the Y containing mosaicism, or male with the defect in androgen action, partial androgen insensitivity, 5 alpha reductase deficiency, who are phenotypically female, may develop sign of androgen stimulation at puberty. Ultrasound may be needed to identify an intra-abdominal gonad, testis, or dysgenetic gonad. Thank you for your listening.